Hello you beautiful people. Happy Sunday, bling bling. Happy <laughs> Easter. I can't believe I had all of this garb and I haven't wore it yet. I was so um, pre-recording a bunch of stuff for when I was away so I never actually wore this and I had thought, oh my goodness, today's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter everybody. Hope the Easter Bunny's good. I hope you're all good. And so I had to put it all on. I keep finding all these new clothes because I've I hit 70 pounds. 70 pounds. 70,000. Tomorrow, tonight, at midnight is the end of the giveaway. So please, I'll link the description box. I will link the um, video. Head on over to that video because today will be your last chance to go in there on that draw and I'm so excited <laughs> and yeah so 70,000 all you need to do is um, subscribe and put a comment in on that video so that's my little plug for that and with that being said I'm excited for today's because today we are I gotta take my Google glasses off because it keeps going in my mouth you like my neck I made my necklace so yeah I keep finding little things to show you guys um, today we're playing around with potpourri. Not because I want the smell, I find it makes me sneeze. Oh, it's like a soapy smell. This one is violet, but we're doing green. I picked up these lovely ones. Look at all that stuff in there that you can play around with. And I'm using my resin today. So, we're gonna make some form of a flower design and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna use resin. I'm going to use some glitter. What I'm thinking in my, what I'm thinking in my brain is I'm gonna put some of Laura's opulence silver. I'm gonna put that actually in my resin. And then if it hopefully it works, this stuff is gonna go in the bowl with the resin. I'm gonna coat everything and then we're gonna make some, some flowers and a little bit of a spring garden maybe. So with that being said, I'm gonna head on up into my sink. Not me, my resin. It's gonna get warmed up and I'm gonna get into my working clothes and I will see you beautiful people in a couple minutes. Hello, we are back. I do not have my resin mixed. But I want to sh go through what I'm going to do before I go upstairs and grab it out of the sink. So, I'm going to use a 20 by 24 inch, 20 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to paint it kind of like a blue with maybe some streaks in it this way to make it look like sky. These are my thoughts. I've just put this on a canvas. I actually was gonna repaint this one. I know it looks beautiful, but there's a hole here. Something happened and fell. So there's a hole right here. I've got it taped in the back, so I was gonna put resin on it. But anyways, just to get a, an idea of what is in my brain, which is scary some days. This is the potpourri. This is the one that came in the big bag for for two dollars so my thoughts were I'm gonna make the stems it might not be as thick we'll we'll see how we go my ground my and then the stem and stem and then these I'm gonna open these all up and put them in I bought these as well at the dollar store and There we go, open it up. I'm gonna just pour them in my containers. I'm excited because these have some pretty cool things in. And again, I'm just gonna I might use I might not use all of them, but like look at these could be feathers, like you could kind of make a flower out of these, like. Oh, 
Oh, and they stink. Sorry. They probably smell nice to some people, but I'm not. And then you can do... And remember, these are all going to be embedded in resin with a little bit of glitter. There's this thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And look, at there's a... Oh, wow. There's a leaf. <gasps> okay, Sherry is going to have some fun. So there's all of that. It's weird when... Oh, I might be sneezing. That's my only issue, guys. If you hear me sneezing, because I have issues with... Uh, I'm going to move this so I don't break them. And then let's open up the other two. The mission on today's video is one, not to moan about my finger. <laughs> oh, you don't realize exactly how much you use it. All right, here we go. This one is called Mineral. What would a mineral scent be? Oh my gosh, it smells like soap. Oh, look at that. I can have a blue flower. <gasps> and look, another big, oh, or actual flower. Oh my goodness. And these little guys can come up into the, oh, we're gonna have fun, boys and girls. Okay. So there's number two and number three. So I'm going to keep the bags because <clears throat> I can't leave them open down here or I'm, um, I'll be sneezing like crazy. And this one is called Lilac Lavender. Oh, love lilacs. My favorite. And then I've got the yellow big bag as well. Oh, this has some purple. Oh, oh my, my. Like, look at this. That could be, oh my. And they're all purpley stuff. Like these could be on a stem. These, all right. This one doesn't smell bad. Actually, that looks very cool. That would be cool in ocean stuff. So I don't know what this is going to turn out like. This is the trial and error with Sherry. Oh, that one goes in here. And yeah, so we have the purple, we have the pink, and we have blue versions of things to put in. And I'm going to put some glass in there. I'm going to put a little bit of, you know, the normal bling bling stuff. But... I thought this would be awesome. Okay, we're gonna put this in the bowl. And there are some garbagey stuff, so like it's got fuzzies. So as I'm going through, I'm gonna pick all that out. I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna go through all of this, pick out all that garbage stuff. And I'm going to go up and get my resin. And then when I, well, actually, no, I'll do this. We're going to paint the canvas first. I got to get my steps straight first. So with that being said, my beautiful peeps, I'm going to do this, put it in my bowl, and I'll get my canvas ready. And we'll be back in a minute to paint the background of the canvas. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm going to see how my day is going today. I did all my pre-prep. <laughs> And then all of a sudden my camera turned off. Oh my goodness, I didn't hit record. So, I didn't do anything extravagant. All I did was mix my paints. I was showing you this amazing Dutch pour that I did for Wednesday. It is dry. Look at that glisten. Just, it turned out amazing. Now, people are wanting me to put it all in one video sometimes, but it's hard when you do the Dutch pours. It might take three, four days for it to completely dry, so it's kind of hard to show you, especially with the black. You wanted to get a true picture of it, right? So this is it. I'm going to actually put resin on it, I think. <gasps> like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Look, look at that. Yeah, so I'm going to put resin on this, so I'm excited. So I will show you in a video um, with that with resin on it, so... There you go. So 
to now I can't remember what I said. I'm going through my can. I'm going to go through everything again. So this is a 20 by 24 inch canvas, gallery wrapped. I'm using the good one, guys. I got Liquidex Basics Titanium White. I have Liquidex Basics Thalozine Blue. Woohoo! Said it right. Oh my goodness. And the one love of my life. This is the Peblio Studio Blue Green. I can't even remember my love of my life's name. That's bad. And I put a good dollop, about that big around, on top of each paint of my Liquidex um, acrylic medium. This one is like a blending medium. It's called Flow Fluid Mediums. And I like doing that. It, it, I find it helps quite a bit with the, um, if you want to blend your paints. Now, some people put water, some do different things, but it's whatever you want to do. So here we go. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I know those are pretty strong colors, but I'm going to try and mix it with the white. So let's go, Peblio. Here we go. And we're going to go this way because we want our picture to go this way, right? I'm just going to, oh, where do you start? Just slap it on. We're just going to slap it on. And slap some down here. And then blend in some of the other colors. So I hope everybody's having a good Easter. Um, I'm not sure if church is still going on. I'm not a church going girl, but um, I know Easter is a big day for church. So hopefully your guys are able to go and do that. Can you tell my, my, my canvas is wobbly? <laughs> All right, let me just get some more white. We'll put some white down in here. I kind of want it a little bit lighter at the bottom as well. So it, um, those colors I'm doing a, just a, X strokes, like I don't know, is that what you call it? X strokes, just to get it into the canvas. And here we go. Go big or go home, right? I put so much in there, and I'm probably not going to use hardly any of it. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put more green here. Whoop, and the white. That's what I want. I don't want a solid. I just want it nice and streaky. Let's go this way so I can spread it out a bit better. And I find the quicker you work, and actually I'm going to turn off my heater. The quicker you work, the, the better the blending will go as well. And I wanted to use this Peblio because it's got that iridescent in it. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't going to complain about my thumb. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. It is trigger finger because it's exact the same as what my other finger did. So it's like, uh, I'm just like, cut it off. That's a joke, obviously. I do not want you to cut my thumb off, but. All right, here we go. 
And if this turns out better with the, bl the blue, I might switch it around. So there's no rhyme or reason. And I'm gonna come back later and paint the edge because I don't know what color I want the edge, so. And again, if it is not perfect, what are we doing? We are covering it all, so I'm not too worried. There's a little bit of... See, and if you do it streaky, what's that look like? Clouds. Okay, down here, get some more of the white and the green mixed up in here. A bit up. There we go, I think. There we go. I think we're gonna just start blending it down. You want to go all the way so that you're got a pretty sky or a background anyway oh that turned out really pretty actually since that's dead in the middle I'm gonna try and fix that little bit of the white and I'm gonna it looks kind of blotchy completely right off so that you're not leaving any there I'm done I don't want to play anymore because I will end up goofing it up and I put way too much blue so that is the base I'm impressed it actually turned out really good all right so I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back and when I come back my resin will be mixed and with that being said I do use my respirator ventilating room I have my Dyson air purifier on please 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 when using resin um, read your health and safety regulations on your resin 100% of them ask you to use a some form of a mask you know if you're working outside that might be different but with that being said I'll see you guys in a little bit hello we are back I have my resin mixed up. I've been so on the fence. I've been not putting it off, but just kind of a little bit nervous. So anyways, I've mixed up six ounces. I don't know how much I'm going to use. I don't want to over mix and then waste it. So I think this turned out beautiful. Looks like cloud. So this is the top and yeah, we're going to get right on it. I've got my, um, my greens and I'm gonna mix some of Laura's art glitter but what I'm gonna do is mix it in a different bowl container because I've mentioned before how I hate you know what they're all I haven't cleaned them all yet okay and I guess it doesn't matter so I'm gonna mix I've got six ounces. I'm going to put three. I'm going to put that much in there. I am going to put some of, um, I'm going to use Laura's glitters today because I feel bad. I've been not avoiding using them. Just, I just didn't want to waste them, but I guess it's not wasting if 
you don't use them if you it, it's wasting if you don't use them so this one is um opulence silver glitter power powder i'm just going to put minimal in here just to give this stuff a little bit of a sheen because you got to have a little glitter and glitter in the um uh, maybe just a tad more i don't want it to overtake you want to have a little bit of glitter so that because you know it's bling bling day and the easter bunny told me that i had to do it all right <sighs> now i want to give a shout out to um aurora pours with barb now i have a trailer in sterling ontario area and we moved it a year and a half ago so last year was our first um time at the trailer so i was walking around downtown in sterling ontario and come across this cute little shop and it was a gallery and I looked in the window and went, oh my goodness, that's all the same stuff that I'm doing. So I went in, had a nice chit chat with this amazing lady. Her name is Barb Turner. Pretty sure it's Turner. And um, we were chit chatting. I told her I had a YouTube channel and all that stuff. Well, lo and behold, she started her own YouTube channel. So that's amazing. So I wanted to just give her a shout out because this is kind of the idea where I got this from. She did this kind of on a window. So I will link her um, page and description in the video. And you can go take a look at her window because it's quite cute. There we go. I want to make sure you're all in. So I'm just taking this resin with the glitter, a little bit of glitter, and dumping it in here. I didn't put it all in. Now, messy part. I want to make sure it's all coated. It's like, um, reminds me of making Rice Krispie squares. All right, now this might not work for me, but hers turned out so cute. So I'm just gonna start putting it on the bottom. And then I might pour a little bit Um, over top as we're going. Oh my goodness. I just want to get a base on the bottom. I don't want resin to go everywhere on and spread it out. Ah, and everything's sticking. It is a kind of a cool idea and I really love the window she did. go out and just buy a couple of um, dollar store bowls so I can mix this stuff up and if it doesn't uh, if it's no good it's no good all right I'm going to come up I'm gonna set this in the middle I'm gonna try and make and come up all the way like I had in that <sighs> this might not work on here We're going to experiment anyway, because I thought it was kind of 
kind of a cute idea. And we'll go like this to make the flower uh, come around. Like that. Just kind of fill it in a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna add some more. Oh, my hand's all dirty, so we're just gonna add some more in here. I just didn't want to put it all in and then not use it. More resin. Mix it up. On the other side because I wanted to do I wanted to frame it oh that's a piece of fuzzy gross stuff okay there we go This one I'm going to bring down a little more because I was going to make them really high, but there. I think that's good. Bring up a couple. In the middle. there and then just a couple little ones here in the middle I think that's it I'm gonna fill in here where I see the blue perfect there I think that's good um, now I'm just gonna take these I'm gonna be probably going through 20 pairs of gloves I'm going to take these gloves off, put a new pair on. <sighs> and I think I might pour. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I don't even see any glitter in that. Oh, okay. I see a bit. I'm going to pour what I have left on top and see if that will help adhere all of this stuff. And I might come down tomorrow and it'll probably be all off, but Now, I got this guy. I thought he would be cute maybe here as a flower. But, me being me, I'm gonna put a little bit of resin in this bowl, this container again. I'm going to use some of, oh, let me just wipe these gloves off. I've got some, um, like I said, I'm using all of Laura's glitters today. We're pulling out no stops. We're gonna get in and use it. I'm going to move that because I don't need that there. All right. We are got some, this one is magenta sparkle. If I can open it with the gloves on. Oh. All right. This one is magenta sparkle. I thought I would put some in the resin and just dip this in the resin. So we're going to see if that'll work. And we're going to put a big chunk in there. There. It's going to go 
to stir. And then this guy, we're just going to stick it in there and just coat it. There we go. I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see it. I just got it in there. I'm just coating it. I'm just going to use my finger, rub it all up to the edge, give it a good coat. And that's going to be one flower. And we're going to put it right there. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll put some other stuff underneath of it. I got all of this beautiful... Let me bring this over. I'm getting all my stuff in a mess. So I've got these. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put these underneath break off the end or find ones that are and make petals. What do you think? Would that look too silly? And is there another one that's reasonably look like a flower okay so let's do the same I'm gonna pour a little more resin in here and we'll dunk all these in there um, a little more resin a little more glitter So that looks kind of cute. Okay. Now we're going to play again. So let's just... I'm going to put all of them in here. Let's see if we can just do a mix. This is messy. But fun. We had this one here. This guy will go here. This guy can go here. Let me make. in a mess. Let me see if I can wipe up those drips. Like I said, trial and error. You don't know if you don't try it, right? I just thought it was such a cute idea. There. Let's see if that'll work. This guy I'm going to get out. see if I can remove some of this. Just the big bloopy stuff that's there. All right. Then let me just, I know my gloves off, but I'm just going to Another glove. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a glove. The glove exchange day. Oh, I'm losing all of these off here. To pay attention. And I will be putting some of that resin down on this part. Okay. Let's. 
adhere a couple of things in underneath this. Maybe it will look like petals falling. I just don't want a clump of stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, let's just roll this ball in here in the pink glitter and we're going to put it down here or I could actually put it in the dead center of that. I think that'll work in the center. Um, let's find something else that's pink. <laughs> Since I've got my hands pink, we're just rolling it in. And we'll put it right down here. We'll do another pink one and we'll put it over here somewhere. If I can get it without making a mess with everything else. There we go. Another pink one, just rolling it around in there. And we'll set it right down there. All right. Did not know that I, well, I should have known this is, was going to be messy. All right. Now, that's the pink. Let's get some, let's see what we got in here with the blue. I was going to set that there. We have this little flower. We could put that there. I think we will do that. And I am just going to pour a little bit of resin on the bottom. I got no gloves on. I'm sorry, guys. I know. I know. There. Um, what else do we got in here? I think these are really pretty. I think we might put that there. Another pair of gloves. Hope you're counting. Let me know how many gloves there are going on. <laughs> uh, and you know what? If the resin is all funky around after it dries, maybe just do a clear coat over it since we've got resin all over everything because there's going to be little drops here. All right. And nothing left in that one. Let me just put that over here. I'm going to close up my lid to this. I don't want to leave that open and have a mess everywhere. Now, Laura's Art Glitter has some beautiful blueberry sparkle. Oh, dumb finger. Blueberry sparkle. Now, I'm going to... Uh, there's another actually you know what I'm just gonna you can judge me all you want guys I'm just using some plastic cups because I was silly and did not I'm just gonna pour just a little bit in here I'm gonna get I just want to work fast because I don't want the resin to go all crazy with me I'm going to put a good heap of deep in there and then we'll mix that up Oh, she's getting hot. And we're just gonna put a little on the back of this to adhere it to here. And I'm gonna pour resin on top. Now, I don't know if anything else will work with this. I. I don't know. This is, like I said, all a trial and error for me. If you want, you know, you can play around and try. Um, what I might do, because that's getting quite warm, is put some more of my um, opulence in it and just pour what's in here 
all over the leaves because I want the leaves to stick. And then I can mix up a second batch. Okay, I'm just going to dunk pour. There we go. Because I would rather... Oh, man. And I did what I didn't want to do. Put it in my good cup. These cups you can't turn inside out. So there's no room. Yeah. We're going to start up here. And just kind of coat. I'm just going to go zigzag. Try and get underneath it. I really want to make sure that the, the leaves stay. I'm just going to scrape out what I have. Oh, if I can. And I'm going to come up this way because I did do it with the other resin on this side, but we'll see. Look at that. It's starting to... Yeah. I don't know, this might not be what you guys want to watch, you know, but I just thought when I seen her with that um, window, amazing. And I, you never know, I may try the window because that was so cool. What's going to go on here is I'm going to leave this. I'm going to mix another batch. Let me just try if I can get push everything in. Like I know there's leakage here, I can't see it, but I can now see it. But I'm gonna leave it. What I might do here is try and stick some more. And it doesn't have to be all, break it up just so I can get it into where all, you, all I'm seeing is the resin. And We'll do that so some will be covered and some won't and then you won't see that big batch big glop of resin and look that looks like a leaf you could probably do that up here too and in here maybe oh that hid that perfect look at that okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do all this Hide up those little bits where it's naked. And I'm leaving my glove off because it is going to be easier for me to manage. Put that here. Yeah, I think that's cool if I can get... Oh, that's got all that hairy stuff on it. I just love the 3D aspect of this because it is awesomely cool, I think. Yeah. So when I'm done doing this part, I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to mix up more resin. So if you're keeping track, that's six ounces. Actually... Um, I got this blue stuff too. Maybe I can stick this in here, in here, in here, to 
take this one off because it's got resin on it. I just wanted to. Oh, there you go. That's stuck in underneath. And then I can stick another. Get off there. I'm going to put it right there on top of it. Oh, that's going to be pretty. I like, I like, you never know what's going to come together. I just hope that stays. That's my only issue. All right. And we've got purple stuff over here that we haven't used. Um, let's me get this out of here. This can come down in here like a little flower. Okay. I'm going to mix more resin up because I want to make sure these are going to stay in there. But I've got all of this stuff to play around with too. Some purple things and... Okay, I'm going to put you on hold, my beautiful people. We'll mix up... Actually, do I put glass in here while this is wet? I think I will. This is my... This is why I went to Ikea and could not find. So this is just broken glass and it's... Um, Green. I'm just going to come across and put it all over here while it's wet. So we've got glass and we've got glitter. I'm sparing no expense on Easter. <laughs> oh, I think that'll be perfect because it's got, now I can really see the, um, the glitter in the resin. Actually, there's resin left there. Let me just see if I can embed that in that resin that's there. And maybe something like this over here. Okay. I don't know where I stopped. Is there a stopping point for glitter and glass? No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to put it on the pedals. We're just going to leave it down. We're going to go. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I'm excited. This is going to come together really nice. Oh. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, we got these big guys. Maybe we can put them in here to break up the... That bareness there. I've got a couple. This is coming together. I'm sorry. I'm weird when I get excited. I'll be back. I'm going to mix up some more resin. I'll see you in a minute, guys. All right, I'm back. I mixed up another four ounces. We're going to see where that takes us. I pulled out some of this stuff, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. So look at this. That's a flower. It's going to go here. Oh, actually, no. It's going to go here. This is another little flower. I figured that would be cute. It can go here. And then um, I want to dip these, put one in this corner maybe, because there's blue there. So maybe I'll put the blue one here. And then I got this funky green one and we'll put that there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so with that, I want to put this one. Where did I put the glass with the pink? Okay. Oh, it's all goofered. Okay. So what I might do is just put more gloves on. I'm excited now. This is actually coming together pretty good. So 
crazy how small things amuse me. All right, so what I'm going to do, because this has got the blue. Okay, let's get this flower in here first. I wanted to put it in, but I didn't want to put it in without you guys seeing what I was doing. So I'm just going to stick. Oh, there's no room. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just going to stick a little bit of, of resin. Actually, I'm just going to pour the resin right here. And put this guy in it. There, that looks good. And I got that guy in there. I wanted to put... I've got this purpley stuff so i'm just going to dip that in the clear resin just enough to so it's like glue and i'm going to stick that in over here somewhere if i can push it down in amongst the stuff that's there there we go and Yes, I found these little guys. I don't know if this guy's in there. Oh, he is in there. Okay. So again, I'm just going to, here, I'm going to put some stuff in these little, there, and it's easier to, I'm just going to dip it in, and maybe put him over here, because there's a few of these little things that are kind of cute. Um... Another bigger one here. I'm going to put that one. Ah, this one's lost. I'm going to put him here. There we go. I think that's kind of good. I don't want to go too crazy down there. Um, no purple. That's, I got this purple guy. I'm just gonna dip it in and actually again I should be having some glitter in this I'm just gonna put the opulence glitter I'm gonna open this up in there and I'm just dumping it in here because I want everything to have a little bit of glitter all right There we go. And we'll put him here. I think that'll be pretty. There. Perfect. Now, this little guy, we'll just give him a little whoosh whoosh around and we'll put him here. Oh. Now, I want to put this big guy here, but I'm thinking. Thinking. It's kind of hard when you're thinking. Um, how to do it? Because I don't want to. Maybe what I'll do. I'll sit that in there. I'm just going to dunk it in here. Just to get a coat of it on. And oh, you're not even. Oh, for some reason, my thing has flipped. Oh, you're upside down. So on my monitor there so I'm just doing this shoot I'm gonna scrape off what I can oh my goodness right because you don't want it to over and then we're gonna put that kind of like this I think And it's got resin here, so I'm hoping it's just going to stick. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same with this guy. And we're going to put him in here. Just a coat. A bath and resin. And then you've got your glitter on it. It's all good. 
and then try and shake off what you can because you don't want to waste or have it puddling. Oh my goodness, it's going all over. It's going to go right there. I'm going to take my thing and try and get... Oh my goodness, Sherry. I was doing good. Like I said, it's probably going to end up with a coat of resin all the way around. Now what I might do, because there's some of these yellow ones, I might bring them in here just for a little bit of color. And maybe we can put it like that just to cover up some of that that's there. in there. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can put some of this here. Hide that. <laughs> and a little bit here, maybe. Yeah. Perfect. Now this one, where did I put it? There was a nice big flower. Oh, right over here. I'm going to put that one right here. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dunk it in here. I know I've got no glove on. Oh my goodness. Are you counting? You need to tell me how many. <laughs> oh. If I can get it on. Oh, and it's the sore hand. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, it's on there. All right. Let's just dunk this all in. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do it off to the side because I don't want to keep ruining the canvas, guys. I keep doing it so you can see, and then it ends up... Let's go this way, I think. There. Perfect. Now, I want to make a flower out of this, but I've got all these blue ones, so I think I might use the blue because there's a bunch of those petals, like interesting petals. And we can put um, another one that, like that. And something in the middle. I've got all these little wee, and I think that can go in the middle. Okay, so that's the plan, Stan. Um, oh, I gotta take the glove off again. Oh my good, I got a pile here, so I'm gonna count them. I am using the blueberry sparkle, because I think that would be pretty in there. I am using blueberry sparkle. I'm gonna oh, put it in this one because I don't want to put it all in. There. And I'll put it in this one that I already had the blue in. That'd be pretty, so that's gonna go. Put my lid back on. All my containers are all resiny. Ugh. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna use these ones because these ones I think are oh, another glove. Sorry, is what I'm doing. I 
I'm going to put a petal there. I was just thinking, what am I going to do with that? Okay. So we got this in here. Let's get that out of there. Let's start putting some of these in here. All I want to do is coat it. I'm just rubbing it all around. And we'll do that big one there. Try and get all of it out. Because you don't want it to pool. And we'll put that one there. And then we'll do that one there, I think. Just draining it, draining it. Trying to wipe off what I can, but leave a bunch on the bottom so it'll stick. And there's that. Where did I put the other little? I had it here. Oh, right here. Okay. We're going to coat this little guy so it looks a little bit blue. Just this little white one. I want to make sure the center gets some stuff in it. There we go. And we're just going to put that in the middle to make it look like the center of the flower. There. Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Will that guy fit in there? Yeah, we'll do that guy too. And then I think that's it. We're going to let it... Oh, you got to make sure the sides, guys. Oh, I just noticed a drip of resin at the end here. Okay. Put that there. Like that. I think that's good. Now... I'm going to try and find something to put in that, if I can get my gloves off. Um, I was thinking maybe putting this over here, but I don't want it to be too, too busy. So I'm going to leave that out. Maybe just a... A little petals floating, maybe floating. I think that's it, my friends. Oh, my goodness! I am happy right now. Do I pour the rest? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to pour the rest over. Oh, let me just make a sure. Make a, make, make, a, make, a, make a sure there's nothing else I want to put in here. Oh, that one's a pretty. Mm. Yes. <gasps> I'm going to pour this in the blue. We're going to pour that in there. Oh my goodness, and another pair of gloves. Oh. Okay. Well, at least the bigger gloves are good for my hand. Like I said, I'm probably, I'm not going to go over the whole thing, but I'm probably going to do a coat of resin in between because there's so much of the drips. So many drippies. So, okay, let's get this. I'm just 
doing the rest of this with that other petal that I think would be pretty in there. Right there. Let's just maneuver, maneuver. There we go. Hmm. I'm just thinking if I could put some green ones in there, maybe, to cover up the little bit so it looks like, oh, and then I'm, yeah, no, we're done. Okay. I just don't want to make more of a mess on the actual canvas. So I think that's it, my friends. Oh my goodness. I think it turned out cute. Now we'll see what it looks like when it's dry, but that's a whole nother story. I'm sure, you know what, I'm just gonna dump. I'm gonna go down and just dump again. Just to make sure it's all on there. There you go. Too funny. Look at all my gloves. That is hilariously funny. Wasteful. But the things we do for crafts, right? Do I put a little bit of this? Let me see. No, we already got the other glitter, so I'll leave that out. So I think we're going to leave this sit. I'm going to try, actually, let me get my, try and pick, get some of this blobs off. But overall, I'm impressed. So if I don't have to, I really don't want to put a whole coat of resin on, but if I have to, I will. what we got drips in here but that's fine and let me just make sure the edges are good they're good down there they're good on this side right here I have a little bit so I'm gonna try and wipe it with this there we go now we're gonna let this sit overnight because it is the resin I like just that blob there. Let me see if there's something else. Maybe some of this. Where's the purple one? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just going to put some of this stuff in this area because I don't want it to be. I just don't want to see blobs of resin. There's a little bit of blue, so I'm going to put the blue too. I'm going to break the blue up, like just take a strand or two off. Maybe. And see. Just kind of put it in there on there. Maybe. Maybe not. There. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to leave it and we'll be down in the morning to check it out. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. This is kind of dry a little. 
I am so happy how it turned out. Look at that. I think, now these don't belong here, but I think it looked a little naked here. So I am going to put a coat of resin, a very, very thin coat on top of everything. And I thought that when I did that, I could put these two here and it would look like a finished flower a little bit more. I'm impressed. It's like, look at the glitter and everything. This thing here is freaking cool. I, I'll bring you down later. But right now, because I didn't do anything to the sides, I have to do that before I put the resin on. So, because I'd like, oh, I'm just gonna finish it, right? So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna paint it this color. The sides are gonna be the Peblio iridescent blue green. So I'm gonna put that here and we're just gonna paint the sides. Nothing extravagant, but I just didn't wanna leave you out of the steps, guys. So I'm just gonna paint away. thought that this would be a pretty color because it is a little bit of both the green and the blue and I kind of figured when I did the um, the top coat I'm gonna add some very very light blue to it I think so it's not going to be clear and it might give a, a dimension to the, um, the top part with the clouds and that. I think it might be cool. So I'm just going to quickly do this. And if you go upward like this, you're not going to get any on top. That's how you do that nice clean edge. I'm going to load up paint. Do the same going downward. Oh! Oh, that was loose. I was trying to look and see. I'm like, oh my goodness, no! It's probably been about maybe four hours. And because it's the resin, it is all a little different timing compared to the, um, the liquid glass that I would normally use. And I'm just going to do one streak. And if you get it on the top, eh, I'm not overly worried because we're going to, like I said, we're coming back with different stuff. I'm just, oh, I'm in awe. I think this turned out freaking amazing. So I'm just gonna do a quick coat. I just love this because it's endless. Like all of those things that were in I'm tempted to go back and get a couple more of them. They were $2.99 and it had all of those neat things in it. Like the flowers, the like this thing and pretty cool. Hope the Easter Bunny was good to everybody. Oh, 
we're now back in lockdown again. Today is Friday, so we've now got another lockdown order. So it was nice that I went to visit my family <laughs> last week, so that was nice. All right. Two more sides, my friends. All right, let's just get this. And yes, I'm getting a little on the top. And I said, I'm not too worried. We're going to have a little bit of color in the, the resin. nice and bright and sunny today. Hopefully it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow because when this is done I can take it outside and show you in the sun because I think it'll be pretty in the sun. This would be very cute on like a, a sun porch or something. And then we're going to let this dry for a few hours. And then I'm going to come down and get my coat of resin. And we're going to whoops, put that flower petals on, I think. Because I think it looks a little, that one looks a, a little naked there. So I thought that would be cute. And if you so decided to at this stage, you could actually put some more like three dimensional stuff up once this part is dry, if you desired to, because that would be cool as well. I just don't know when to stop. I think we all have that issue sometimes. What do they say? Less is more. But, except when it comes to glitter, right? Is that what it is? Less is more, except for when it's glitter. Got a piece of glass there. And actually all the glass adhered. None of it fell off, which is good. There we go. All my sides are done. Like, see all this? I'm not too worried if there's the odd little piece, because, like I said, I'm going to put a coat of resin on. I don't know what to do with these guys. Maybe I can lift them up. <sighs> I like this idea that there's a couple little petals falling. So there we go. Our sides are all done. Pretty, pretty. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to put it this way because I'm going to work from it on the other side. So there we go. Really, I don't have to put the resin on, but I think it'll just finish it up. That turned out pretty. That right there is freaking amazing. When I bring it down, when I bring you down for a close-up, we'll have to, because it's kind of cool. All right, well, I'll let you go, guys, and I will be back when this is dry with some resin already mixed up. I figured I'd probably do another... I'll do five ounces and then that way, or six ounces. And I'm gonna have too much, but I thought I could pour it in something. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Bye. Hello, we are back. The sides are all dry. I have mixed up 
another six ounces. I'm going to put um, an ounce in this cup because maybe I'll just do it not quite an ounce. I want to put um, some glitter in that. And we're going to do these two, like I had mentioned, and adhere them there. So I've got my, because I put the um, magenta sparkle. That one was the one I put in the, ugh, sorry, got to reach. That was the one I put for those. So we're going to do that much in there. This guy a little bit of a bath. And we're going to put him right about there. I think that's nice, nice and 3D ish. Now, the other little one we're going to put in. I'm going to try and take off. Some of it, and we're going to place that one right about there. There, I think that fills that guy in there pretty good. Awesome. So I've got that left. Now we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm going to take my, we're going to exchange gloves again. This is the most gloves I've used, I think, maybe in a long, long time. I'm going to put another pair on, and I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, I might put blue, a little bit of blue in the resin for the sky. And I have the two blues that I have from Laura's Art Corner, um, the La Res Pastes. So I'm going to, let's see, I've got this cup and this cup. I'm going to put... two of each oops a doozer and we have leftovers so um, I'm gonna open them up so this one is these are the two that I've used for my um, beach pour so this is the aqua ocean if I can open it oh my goodness all right more stir sticks and I just want a little I do not want a lot so don't forget to use my discount code, go into Laura's Art Corner and check out her stuff because I think all my glitters today and all of my colors are from Laura. So go check it out. Now I was told just to give it a stir and scrape it off because like I said, I do not want a lot of color. So we'll see what that does. And I'm gonna put the lid back on. And when you have these, please remember, store them straight level. You don't want them on its side or it will be all over. You will have a leak. Oh, which is not good. And I don't know what just fell. I heard something. <laughs> and the other one I have is Peacock Dance, which is that nice dark. Oh, my hands. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we go. It's that nice dark one. So we're gonna give that a little bit of a stir. Like I said, it's cold down here. So this is really crazy stick today. My heater turned off. Oh my gosh, what a mess I'm making. And like I said, I don't want a lot of dark. I really do not want it dark. I'm going to take a wet one here and wipe off the edging because I have a hard time opening things to start with. I don't want it to be seized because of that. There we 
go. My lid back on. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Am I going to have to do another glove? All right, let's just... Ooh, that is way more than what I thought I wanted. I wonder... So this one's nice. It's very, very little in there. This one is quite dark. So we'll see. We'll see. Alrighty. I'm scared. I am scared. I am scared. All right, let's put them. Let's do this. We'll mix this up. And then we'll put the light. I just thought if I did colorings, it would give it a whole new dimension. Give it like that 3D-ish kind of. I'm just going to try and get as close as I can without going over. Because if I don't have to go over, I would prefer not to. And I have the clear, so I'm thinking that I'm going to put the clear. Whoops. Let me just put a little clear here. Because I don't want to get in there. Because we just kind of put that guy in there, so hopefully... Well, like I, said, I just want to get to the edge. I don't want to go over if I don't have to. But I want to make sure it's on the edge. Like to the edge. Let's get the pour in this. We'll put some clear here and in here. A little bit here.
hard to get it into some spots. There we go. And if it's not everywhere, I think it should be fine, but I want it to look cohesive, right? Um, oops, I don't want Ooh, streaks. Let's just move it so it looks like it's up. There, that's better. My hands. All right, let's get in here under this guy. Do we have it, guys? All right, I'm going to use this and try and do a little on this side. Out going over the edge. And now down this side. Because I kind of want Try and squeeze it off my glove. And then I'm going to give this a torch when we are done here. Hmm. I don't want it on there. I want it in there. There we go. I am all a mess. <laughs> But you're not crafting if you're not messy. Remember, guys. All right, perfect. So I'm going to try. I'm going to take off my, these dirty gloves and put another pair on. And then I'm going to get my torch out. Oh. Oh, my hand. Sorry, guys. I love putting that, a little bit of color in that resin. It turned that. Oh, my goodness. Did you just, oh. Oh my, okay, I will fix that and we will not be. I guess we have to pay attention. That is too funny. And that's even funnier. I'll be right back guys. I gotta fill my torch. I'll be right back guys. Okay, I'm back, we're all filled. I've opted to use my alcohol down here. If I can get it going, 90% alcohol. I can't believe I did that. So I'm just gonna, maybe after this is dry, I'm gonna come around and do some little um, snipping. I don't wanna do it right now because I'm gonna get it in the resin, which is not what we want. Well, wasn't that wonderful? Had a fire and everything. I'm just trying to, well, we can piece up some more over this side where I couldn't see where we're going. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that, my friends, and I'm going to come down and take a peek at it periodically. 
Now I will torch up this way just because there are bubbles and I don't want to I'll try not to get it. I'm not going to touch any of this with this torch. So, yes, I'm happy. I'm so happy. Let it come together. You know, it's so neat when a plan works. So, with that, my beautiful people, I am going to let it be. And we'll see you guys in the morning for the big, big, big reveal which it won't change much, but I'll bring you down close and let you look at, and I'm going to fix that up tomorrow. So, alrighty, have a wonderful evening, guys, and I will see you in the morning. Well, here we go, my beautiful people. It is done. Is that not beautiful? Other than my flower catching on fire, everything is gorgeous. I'm going to just kind of trim it up. I'm not going to be too worried about it right now. I think there's such a three-dimensional in the the sky when I put that um, the pigment paste in. It is crazy. Now there's little flux of stuff in the resin because of course you've got all of this loose stuff. But is that's amazing. I'm hoping it's going to be sunny out. The sun's not out yet this morning, but. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. This turned out amazing. I'm going to bring it down and we're going to get a better look, I hope. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back, guys. Don't want to make you sick on Easter. You're just sick. Here we go. Like, look at the depth in that. I just love how that looks in the sky. And this is just gorgeous. Like, it is deepened all the colors on all of it. Just little bits of details. Now there's bits of, like I said, there's bits in the resin. <laughs> you can see the glitter. Like this pod is cool. Now I may come back I said, I can't believe it started on fire. I said, I'm going to come back with a pair of scissors. Just give it a little snip. I'm not too worried about it. Or you could come back with maybe something like this underneath of it. Kind of. Because I still got all of this stuff to play with. So... Look, just the colors are vibrant and beautiful. Whoop! Just about dropped you guys, sorry. Now this thing looks cool. It is very cool. This peapot, there were so many interesting things in that bags of, um, stuff it was kind of cool potpourri well there you go my beautiful people i'm going to attempt to take it outside hopefully it will work and yeah so with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up um if you like it give it a share if you hit the bell for notifications and please please don't forget tonight is the last night for the 70,000 giveaway it's tonight at midnight so please get over I'll link the um, video in the description box all you have to do is be subscribed you have to have an account to comment and that's it and I'll go through all of the stuff and Monday I'll have the video up of the winners I'm excited so with that being said um, in my description box I also have my paper my Facebook link my Amazon shops 
my Laura's Art Corner, which is all of the glitters and the pastes I use today. That is capital letters Sherry Moulton 10% and use my discount code. And yeah, my PayPal link is in there. And with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. Happy Easter. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, I brought it outside. The sun isn't, the sun's out, but not so bright. I just thought I'd show you. It's actually so pretty. All that glittery. This is one of my favorite pieces right here. Pretty cool. Anyways, well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on Monday with some exciting winners. Love you guys. Bye.